Yeah. Hey guys, Pat here, doing one of my uh, favorite breakfasts. Breakfasts? That's a word for me, right? Uh, and actually one of Gwen's favorite too, so savory waffles. This has got onions, mushrooms, corn, jalapeno, uh, cheddar cheese, and then we're gonna do that with a couple eggs on top to uh, finish it off. So this one's definitely a little bit more hearty, uh, but a breakfast that Gwen and I probably have uh, every other, once every other week, so yeah. Hope you hope you enjoy watching and hope you can make it uh, at home yourself. Bartender. I'll have the usual. Give me the usual. I'll take the usual. I'll have the usual. Give me the usual. Another usual. Okay guys, so I've got a little bit of, uh, I'm just gonna butter this pan here and start cooking the uh, onions and mushrooms. So just do a little bit like that. This pan is starting to heat up. Again, and just kind of do medium heat here. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is just put my onions in, just like that. Super simple, I've got those diced up. I just got some salt right now. Don't have to do a ton because that cheese that I'm gonna put in will be pretty salty as well. And then I just love black pepper. So what I'm gonna do is just, Cook these onions down um, till they're translucent, and then I'm, uh, then I'll add the mushrooms. So yeah, give it a little shake and just let that sit for a while. One cup corn could be fresh or frozen. You can go ahead and say it's already. Yep. I've got jalapenos to taste here, and I will. Um, I'm gonna chop these up. Cheese. Go ahead and say what you're doing. I'm just shredding some cheese here. Tillamook cheddar. How much cheese? I'm gonna call that one cup shredded flour in here. Maybe a heaping cup doesn't need to be exact. All right, I'm doing two teaspoons baking powder. Baking powder, we kind of had a little blooper in, uh, what video was that, Gwen? Uh, I did a... Uh... Your oatmeal bake? Yeah. Okay, two teaspoons baking powder. All right, you see these onions got a little burned, but that's totally fine. We'll just put that back in, keep an eye on that. Um, and we'll, we want those mushrooms to really soften down. So I'll show you that in a second when these have, when these have uh, cooked down a little bit more. I just do a couple of grinds like that. Look at that, it's meant to be. These are the last two. Ow. Yeah, that's an egg stand. Go just like that. Just like that. Right here we've got one and a half cups milk. A lot of it, it really doesn't matter. So go and roll that in. Um, and for whatever reason, with waffle recipes, I always just need some more milk, but it looks like today. I love pancake recipes. And pancake recipes, but. I may actually do, and I'm looking for the same kind of consistency that you would look for in a pancake as well. But, see how this? I don't want it thicker, no, but this, see how this is a little too thin. That's a little too thin. Um, now I'm also aware that I'm gonna throw, you know, my vegetable mixture in there, but I just think this is a little too thin. So I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. And I'm not gonna be exact here, I'm just gonna, just gonna dump a little bit in with the bag, right, like that. Oh, we've got the ooh, measuring cup right there, okay. There we go. And it can be a little, um, it can be a little too thick right now on the front end because we're going to add in the vegetables and that'll help. Yep, that's looking much better. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to let that sit. It's going to rise because of the baking powder, so keep an eye on that as well. Don't be, don't be freaked out when that happens. Gwen's giving me a hard time about the over mixing, but she loves these waffles, and this is how I mix them. I do. So I do love them. It's going to be okay. Okay, can we come check out our little situation that we've got here with the onions and mushrooms and then we're gonna just finish it off with, I've got the jalapenos, some frozen corn. And really all we're doing here is just looking to heat that corn up a little bit. So that's frozen, that's gonna add a little bit of liquid back into the mixture for us. I'm gonna toss that pan and just give it a moment. And notice I've got my cheese here on the side, that'll go in the mixture very soon. Um, now I'm gonna heat up my waffle iron. Now we've got, um, this mixture is ready to mix up. 
You can see, look back at my dough. Almost needs a little bit more milk again. So we're gonna see how it looks once I've just gone and dropped this whole mixture in. Mmm, it's gonna be savory. It's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna save that pan because I'm gonna put a couple eggs on there. We'll just mix that in. Put the cheese in. I'm just adding a little bit more milk to make it a little bit more liquidy. And really with the milk to flour ratio, that's just gotta be a judgment call, guys. It's just, it's gotta be up to you, game day decision, um, just based on how much veg you put in there. And now this would be really good if you threw some, this would be really good if you threw some, uh, you know, even some peppers in there that you cooked. Um, a lot of, even, you could throw some spinach, could do a spinach feta one. Uh, that would be delicious. So we're gonna make some waffles. Okay, I got a waffle iron here that was originally my my grandmother's. Um, this thing is old and works awesome. It's ready to go, super hot. I don't do any um, pre-greasing of it. This one's ready to go. So there we go. I'm gonna drop the waffle in. You can see it's always gonna kind of overflow. I might pat it around a little bit and then we'll just let that sit. So ends up taking about four or five minutes. And then we'll have a we'll have a waffle ready to go. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. Um, you know, a lot of these things have lights that go on and off. I don't ever pay attention to them. Hey, Stanley, I just know if they're cooking or not. So um, you can see, because of the baking powder, this waffle has risen quite a bit. Um, don't sweat that. That's not a big deal. So, but let's just let's just have a look and see how it looks. Oh man, it's looking really good. Could maybe cook a little bit more up front, but um, waffles are. I found waffles, and I might just crunch that down a little bit. I found waffles are just like pancakes. Oh no. <laughs> it's good. Delvin hit his hand on the stove pan. <laughs> Whoa, it's hot. hot. Um, waffles are just like pancakes. The first one, the second one's always better. So uh, I'll probably get stuck with that first one. I think it's going to be delicious. I'm just not that picky, but you will notice I always think the second one's better. I know, Gwen, you agree with me? Yes, and I'm picky about it. I gotta get in here. All right, it's go time. We're gonna pull it. You can see again, that light's flashing. I never know, it's on right now. Does that really mean that the waffle's done? I'm not sure, but we're just gonna check like that. Oh, it's looking pretty good. There's a little bit of breakup right there, but um, my technique for getting it out, <clears throat> just kind of pull around. And uh, doesn't have to be pretty, but oh boy, oh geez. Got the job done. So there's number one. I'm gonna throw on number two now. Uh, I'm also gonna get, I like to just do some fried eggs on top. So let me just quick start cooking number two. And then I'm going to throw some eggs on. This one I'm just gonna spread it out again. And there you go. You're set. Savory waffles. Let's do this. Um, yeah. All right guys, what do you know? We got some more, we found some more eggs. So, always make this easy, just butter the pan like that, and then we're just gonna crack a couple eggs, so. We've talked about just like to, liking to hit them on a flat surface like that, and then I just crack them open. I'm gonna let them sit like that. Look at how beautiful those come out. Again, the pan is not too hot here. The egg's able to take shape, and yeah, those are gonna be ready in no time. Take a peek at these eggs. So, I just like to bring those whites in a little bit before I try and flip them. So, and then I'll just move them around. So, we will flip those in a second. They still gotta cook. So, I always like to just look right around the yolk there. That's still, that's still pretty tender. This egg is pretty delicate. So, I want that surrounding the yolk to firm up a little bit before we decide to flip them. Got a high pressure situation here. Um, I'm gonna try and flip these eggs. So the key is just, I like to have, I don't know what this little 
tool I have is for, but it seems to usually work pretty well. So I just get under there and just quick try and do that. So again, I'm just gonna look here, 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 here we go. Catch that a little bit and just flip it. And again, so on that one side, those were probably cooking for three or four minutes, but then these are almost gonna be ready to go immediately. So I just, I like to have that yolk a little bit runny. You saw how quick I flashed these and we're just gonna take them straight to the waffle. Number one's ready. So there we go. My my breakfast is set. Thank you. Okay, so I've got this set here for myself, um, but I just want to do one last plug. My mom made this maple syrup from their lake cabin, um, and it's actually really good. So I'm gonna do that across the top, and I would encourage you all to comment in the comments that you want my mom to focus more on maple syrup <laughs> and try and expand that operation uh, to its full capacity. So cheer my mom on for that one. The maple syrup's amazing. Well, we, just, we just want her to make more so we can have it. Yeah, exactly. I love it. All right, I'm hungry. Oh, okay. All right, let's eat. You can touch it. All right, Sam, you ready? Let's go eat this. Come on, come over, come on. <laughs> you ready? See you, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's okay. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, Stanley. Yeah, you want some? I'll share with you. There you go. I'll share with you.